Hello everyone and welcome to my tutorial on how to get a good screen recorder and how to adjust its settings to make it turn out with good quality. So let me first start off by telling you guys that the three key things in uh, screen recording is you need to one get a good screen recorder, two you need to get a good video compressor and three you need to get a good audio compressor. Now these three things are individual programs so you need to download them um, but to save you the time I provided you download links to each of these on, in the description box to the right you just simply click them and it opens up to a new page and it'll give you the download link to them so first off go to the description box and download Cam Studio the link to Cam Studio which is a screen recorder, it's free and e easy to use. So, once you download it, it go to the, to the installation box, uh, run through it, um, accept all policies, um, and now once you have that, um, you should get this box, you should get um, Camp Studio officially downloaded on your uh, computer. So. Let's start off by uh, adjusting settings uh, on Camp Studio to make it have good quality. To do this, uh, you need to first click on Region. Then, uh, what this does, it actually is the size of the screen in which you want to screen record. If you want full screen, it'll record your whole screen. But I prefer fixed region because it's uh, more clear, better quality you can see everything that you're doing unlike full screen where you can barely see it's blurry so once you click on fixed region you uh, check the width and the height make sure it's th the, the width is 320 and the height is 240 this is the uh, regular uh, YouTube size um, so it'll turn out uh, good and the correct size so you'll, be, not, you'll have no problems there and now once you're done with that you want to go to options then video options and now under compressor this is what we need to do I want you um, to download the Cam Studio lossless codec uh, download uh, in the description box so um, once you've downloaded that um, I'll show you what to do after it turns into a zip file this is what it looks like right here and once you've done that, uh, unzip it, it should turn out to this folder, click it, and you should get this. You should get this folder, Camp Studio Codec, click it. Then, um, then go to Cam Codec Setup Information, uh, right click it, and click Install. Now once you've installed that, run the installation, uh, if there is one, I'm not sure, but after that it should disappear nothing should happen it looks like nothing should happen but it, uh, something actually does happen and it installs in your computer and so just close all Camp Studio windows you have available and reopen them and you should see a pull down men uh, menu you should see Camp Studio Lossless Codec version 1.0 okay so click up uh, actually my mistake uh, you now you want to adjust the quality make that a hundred and set the keyframes to 30 frames set the uh, capture frames to 50 milliseconds and, and the playback rate to 20 frames per second keep auto adjust unchecked and keep it keep this to max frame rate all the way to the left once you've done that click OK alright so well now you fix the video options and what a compressor does what a video compressor does it shrinks the file size and it makes the video come out in better quality now there is other good um, uh, video compressors, but like uh, Xvid or Divix. But I choose Camp Studio Lossless Codec because it's compatible with Camp Studio, and it's just Camp Studio can recognize it easily. Um, so I just use that. But you can use others that are that are good. It's not like Camp Studio Lossless Codec is it's the best, uh, but they're all equal in my opinion. Uh, so once you've done that, if you want to show, if you want to highlight your cursor, let's say you want to show them how what you're clicking, 
you click highlight cursor you can change the color of this you can make it to a rectangle a triangle any anything you want but uh, you can change the color from red to yellow to blue anything and you can increase the size or decrease the size uh, I, per I, I don't I think it's annoying so I don't choose to do that uh, but you can if you want to uh, I do recommend showing your cursor at least alright so once you've done that now if you want to record audio from microphone you want to click that if you want to talk while you're screen recording uh... if you want to play a video game if you want to show a video game you're playing uh... while screen recording you would want to record from a, a speaker uh... but i'll be showing you what uh, options you want to fix for a microphone okay so choose your audio device um, set it at 22.05 kilohertz mono and 16 bit and now we want to have get the audio compressor and what that does it makes the uh, the sound clear and it also shrinks the file size which is a good thing when screen recording so you want to get a good audio compressor which is lame mp3 just uh, go to the download link to the description box located to the right side of this page click the link follow the instructions and you should get this zip file right here unzip it click on this now once you've done that, unzip lame ACM. This is what you should unzip. And you should get this file now. Click it and just like the lossless codec, you want to go to the setup information for lame ACM, right click it and click install. Now there should be an installation and after you've done that, you have successfully installed lame mp3. Now you want to close all Camp Studio windows and reopen them and you should get the option of choosing lame mp3 click that and set it at these options this, the options that you see on the screen make sure you set it at that mono is for uh, microphone stereo is for uh, speakers don't put stereo if you're using a microphone it's not good uh, on the check interleave every and a hundred milliseconds and after you've done that you're fine uh, next you want to, if you want to screen record while moving your mouse, wherever your, the screen goes, it follows your mouse, uh, wherever your mouse goes, it follows, um, if you want to do that, you would want to enable the auto pan. Now if you want to keep it at a still screen without moving, uh, without moving the uh, screen, you can only move the mouse, uh, which is, uh, it, it can turn out into a bad screen recording, I don't uh, recommend this. Uh, this option, but you can do it. You just uncheck the enable auto pan. Um, uh, like I said, it, it cannot. It's not going to turn out to, uh, as a good YouTube video, uh, so I don't recommend doing that. But anyways, once you've enabled that or disabled that, you want to do. Uh, you can set keyboard uh, shortcuts uh, such as uh, resuming your video. Uh, you can set a, sh a shortcut for that. You can click. If you click, like for example, F6 can make it turn back. You can set it to whatever you want. Um, and now we are finished uh, using Camp Studio, and you are ready to screen record. Uh, you have every tool to make it turn out as a good quality screen recorder. So now all you have to do is you have to screen record yourself, um, and that's it. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, uh, post them below, and I'll be sure to answer, uh, likely to answer them as soon as I uh, get on. Um, I am known to answer everybody's questions. Um, usually, the day after I answer them, so you don't have to worry about uh, me not a being able to answer them. Um, subscribe because I'll be making more videos to help you with your computer needs. Uh, so this is Tech Boy Tutorials. Peace.